Hey, crypto family. So it's good to see some green in the market today. Bitcoin's actually had a nice little rise and it's hovering around $9,800. So everyone's watching it to see, you know, if it's going to break that 10,000 in the next day or two. But looking at everything else, so we see Ethereum's been a big player recently. It's just reached $800. So it's up 3% today. Bitcoin's up at 2%. Ripple's up uh, over 3% at 90 cents, and actually I believe went to a high of 94, 95 cents uh, yesterday whenever Binance released trading pairs, USD pairs for Ripple. So it caused you know, a nice little spike here, and then it's consolidated a little bit after that. And then uh, Litecoin is up over 7% on news that they're added to Reddit's payment system along with Bitcoin and Ethereum. So it's good to see Litecoin showing some life. It hasn't really been doing much lately. And then uh, the rest of the coins, they're, you know, either up a couple percent or down a couple percent. So let's go and look at Bitcoin on the chart. So again, I mentioned, you know, it's hovering around $9,800 right now. And $9,700 was that resistance for, uh, for a while. You can see it. There's a four-hour chart. It was bouncing up above 97, down below it. So if we can stay above this $9,700 level here, I believe this has become the new support. Then we could see us passing this $10,000 level here. And basically, I'll go to a daily chart. We can see it's 10,000 is more of a psychological level than anything. As you can see, there was some resistance here, but um, not a lot. So I think this mainly psychological. That's why everyone's, you know, just watching it. But once we do break $10,000, then there's not too much resistance. Uh, maybe a little around 11, but the next highest is 11,500, and we do have some more resistance to look uh, to watch out for. So. You know, right now in the daily, the RSI is looking a little overbought. We may have a slight pullback, but again, there's still some room to grow. So it'll be interesting to see if we pop through this $10,000 level soon, or if we come back down and trade in this channel that we were trading in for a couple days. So we'll keep an eye on that. But uh, there's an article by CNBC, and it mentioned Bitcoin is rallying and can no longer be dismissed. Here are three reasons why. So... You know, it's good to see when the media is bullish on cryptocurrencies kind of changing their tune. And it seems like a lot of people have been bullish lately. And it says Bitcoin prices continue to climb, reaching nearly $10,000 on Friday. Goldman Sachs move, Goldman Sachs's move into the cryptocurrency market, regulatory clarity, and the upcoming blockchain week, NYC, have all increased demand for Bitcoin. So I made a video on Goldman Sachs and how they're releasing their first um, cryptocurrency exchange on Wall Street or sorry, the first Bitcoin trading firm uh, of any Wall Street bank. And I mean, that alone, it gives a lot of exposure to Goldman Sachs. You know, it puts all the eyes on them and they're right now, they're being the leader for the adoption of cryptocurrency. So, I mean, pretty much all their clients requested it and they couldn't ignore it any longer because uh, that's like free money and banks love free money. So they decided, you know, okay, it's time. Um, you know, Bitcoin's been under the radar for a while, but it's time to bring it um, to more mainstream investors. So that's been a big move lately. That's pushed a lot of, you could say, it's made a lot of people feel more secure about Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies. So it's kind of brought you know a few more investors in there. And then as well as they also have the blockchain week in New York City. So that blockchain week is actually May 17th, or sorry, May 11th through the 17th. So that's in about a week. And basically it says, we are proud to partner with the New York City Economic Development Corporation to showcase New York City as a rising hub for blockchain jobs. Through a series of blockchain events from May 11th to the 17th, Blockchain Week New York City, anchored by headline event consensus, will include an industry hackathon and a first ever blockchain job fair free to any member of the public. So that's awesome. Um, as you know, blockchain developers and you know, basically anyone who trades or works with cryptocurrencies, they're becoming high, high, um, basically a lot of companies want them. You know, they're becoming in demand because blockchain is just becoming bigger and bigger every day. So you can see all these different companies are coming there. They're gonna have jobs available. Um, and again, this is an emerging market. So there's a whole new variety of jobs, you know, focused on the blockchain and these companies wanna be at the forefront of it. So. It's great to see all these companies are gonna be there. Um, you know, a lot of support here from New York City hosting this event, and it's a week long. So there's gonna be a lot of talk about it. You can expect a lot of people to get into the space that aren't in it right now. And again, just continue to push uh, 
cryptocurrencies to the mainstream and push the Bitcoin price even higher. So I thought this was a good article by CNBC. I mentioned some good reasons and, you know, hopefully we'll have some more in the near future. Now, speaking of jobs, um, Coindesk actually released an article on May 2nd and uh, the Twitter account here, they said, we've heard from so many companies that finding qualified talent is the biggest pain point. Because of that, we're thrilled to announce the launch of the Coindesk Career Center. And I clicked this link and I just typed in crypto in the search box. And basically it's like a job search for uh, you know cryptocurrency jobs. And you just type whatever you want and basically it'll bring up companies that have applications. So if you're if you're familiar with indeed.com, kind of like the search engine for you know, normal jobs, this is kind of like the search engine for blockchain jobs. So, I mean, you have all these companies here, you know, blockchain engineer, it's in Boston, Asia. I mean, just all kinds of different companies that are accepting, you know, job applicants, whether it's vice president, uh, customer experience, head of blockchain. I mean, all these different jobs here that, um, you know, are focused on getting into the cryptocurrency space. So I thought this was great. And again, you know, it's just adding more fuel to the fire, so to speak, for um, new applicants coming into the blockchain technology space. So, and last but not least, is an article on Telegram and how they actually canceled their ICO. So this article came out on May 2nd as well, and um, Telegram had its private ICO and they're gonna planning a public ICO, but they actually canceled their public ICO. So that was uh, supposed to start in March, but they never did it and the private ICO raised over $1.7 billion from less than 200 private investors. So that's huge. I mean, that's a lot of money with not that many you know, people. So that tells you there's millions of dollars from each person that have invested in this company. And basically the reasons that they mentioned why they canceled it, the public ICO is because of the regulatory worries from the SEC, Security and Exchange Commissions in the United States. And basically, they just didn't want to have to go through all that because there's a lot of laws you got to follow. Basically, you got to you know make sure you have all your um, all your bases covered. So they said, okay, it's easier not to get in that. Let's just keep the private one, and you know not even worry about the public ICO. So you know I know a lot of people were disappointed about this, but again, um, there's been a lot of controversy about Telegram's ICO and why they needed to raise over a billion dollars for it. Um, you know, some say it's a marketing stunt. Uh, there's just a lot of speculation about it. So maybe it was a good thing that you know public investors couldn't get involved in the ICO, who knows? But it mentions here that um, it says, until the identity of 200 investors become clear, speculation will likely continue that the value of Telegram lies not in a billion dollar messaging app, but in the data. Even if it's not collected on servers, which is by no means guaranteed, the flow of data itself might create spider webs that reveal information about the user's contacts times of activity and so on. So again, it's kind of mentioning that like maybe data is the real valuable thing here that the companies are trying to get because Telegram, their ICO is focused on a payment system. So it says uh, the new cryptocurrency known as Grams will form part of a new payment platform. And uh, basically because they have you know over 200 million users, the app would be better at giving digital assets a broader appeal among potential users outside of the sector. So, um, so you know, there's all kinds of stuff that companies invested in, you know, to get data from the users. Um, but, but regardless, I mean, 200 million users, you know, some of those people getting into cryptocurrencies, I mean, it could spread like wildfire. So, if anything, it's just more exposure and, um, you know, to help increase uh, the chance of adoption in the near future. So, with that, um, that's pretty much it. So, if y'all enjoyed the video, please give it a like, comment if you have any questions and subscribe if you haven't. So hopefully we'll see Bitcoin at 10K and look forward to joining you there. Till next time, thanks for watching.